YouTube, I am back with Against the Ropes. And I'm going to cover the recent edition of Monday Night Raw. It just ended over an hour ago. Replays probably on now. So, let's go. Pretty much talking about the Royal Rumble, talking about who's in it, talking about, oh my god, I'm Becky Lynch, I'm the best, which you are the best, we love you, and how she's pretty much going to defeat Dewdrop. Dewdrop comes out, interrupts, <coughs> says, nah, bruh, I'm going to win, and says, I didn't need you at all, I did it by myself. Bianca Belair comes out, and basically says... Becky, if it wasn't for you, that would be me, not Dewdrop. <coughs> and then <coughs> Liv Mor and then Bianca declares for the Royal Rumble. And Liv Morgan comes out and does the same thing. And then after all the promo, we get into the tag team match. Becky Lynch and Dewdrop versus Bianca and Liv. It was fine, alright. Decent match. And it had uh, that thing where it's, can they coexist? Answer is no. Becky gets squashed while Liv gets squashed. Dewdrop drags Becky over. Tags. Does the splash again on Liv. One, two, three. Done. Then attacks Becky afterwards, which kind of building up to the rumble. Well, making her look good because I don't think Dewdrop's going to win. I think Bianca or Liv Morgan is going to beat Lynch at WrestleMania. But on to the next skit. We had the 24-7 skit. Nothing really there. Oh, my God, I'm scared of Almas. And then it goes, and then Edge and Beth Phoenix walk in. 24-7 <coughs> people, Reggie and Dana Brooke walk off. And then Damian Priest comes up. Basically asking Edge for advice, how what to do in the Rumble, how to control your anger. That that's cool. Just simple advice from a Hall of Famer. Cool. After that, Edge walks off. They're all smiling. Kevin Owen walks up like, let's have a good match. Pretty much sucking up to Damian Priest, which Kevin's kind of a liar, which is his gimmick. But we'll get to that in just a moment. <coughs> Because next up's the KO show. <coughs> Kevin Owens comes out, gloating about himself, dissing the fans of Tulsa, and declaring for the Rumble. <coughs> and he brings out Seth freaking Rollins, which I don't know why you change it to freaking. Seth Rollins is fine. The man's a fucking beast. I don't know. Pardon my language. But he comes out, he does it, <laughs> which I absolutely love your laugh. It gets me every time. Even if they turn you babyface, please keep that laugh. So basically, they go back and forth talking, saying, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna defeat Roman Reigns." Kevin Owens like, "Yeah, yeah, you're gonna beat Roman Reigns because Owens and Reigns had a feud last year. Funny enough, one of their matches was at Rumble." And they're kissing each other's arse. And then Damian Priest interrupts, tells him to shut up. <coughs> Time for talk is over. He's winning the Rumble. And then pretty much says he was told by Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville that his match starts now. <coughs> Which Damian Priest, Kevin Owens, <coughs> really good match. Lots of near falls. I love how Owens, at one point, Hits like an elbow. <coughs> oh, sorry, a chop. He does a chop, and then Priest gets all demon mode. And Kevin is just like, oh, no, no, no. I want a peaceful match. <coughs> <coughs> kind of laughed at that one, because that's a part of Damo's thing. Which I still don't understand why people are raving about him being a heel for attacking Shinsuke when he's not a heel. <sighs> but, hey, they had a really good match. But the ending, I didn't really understand. Simply because Kevin Owens fakes a knee injury. Down on the ground. DTMTs. 
Dame gets this close, Kevin just hits him with a stunner. One, two, three. I don't understand that one. Just for the sheer fact of... But, at the end of the day, KO wins. Obviously, there's going to be a United States Championship match between the two. And hopefully, hopefully a feud. Which, that would be a pretty solid feud. Which, I'd see Dame getting some wins and ultimately potentially losing to KO. We'll see. Fun. You know. Cool. And then we get a promo from Nikki Ash. Pretty much she turned heel by attacking Rhea yet last week. Pretty much saying it's all Rhea's fault. I didn't need Rhea. I'm a superhero. I only need myself. And that she broke up the team. Which. <coughs> cool. <coughs> but drop the superhero stuff. Because if she's going to be heel. It doesn't make sense to have a superhero gimmick. That was supposed to baby face and she was being booed at live events. So it's not working. So kind of don't go back to old Nikki Cross from like NXT to before the superhero stuff. <coughs> and don't do superhero. Kind of something different. Something to spice Nikki up. And then we get the Alpha Academy graduation. Because if you don't know Alpha Academy, Chad Gable and Otis won the tag team titles from RK Bro, Randy Orton and Riddle. They basically roast the fans. They basically talk about how we won the championships and we're the best. And Gable was doing a lot of the talking. And then eventually pass it over to Otis. Pretty much praising him, saying he's the big tree trunk and he graduated. Okay, cool. Otis basically says, I'm going to destroy anyone that's in my path. Next thing you know it, Riddle comes out. I love Riddle just because of his humor. Just because, like, you don't really know. Just because... He comes out... He comes out... In a graduation... Graduation outfit. <coughs> Pretty much... Ultimately, they trade jabs, go back and forth. Riddle pisses off Otis. He goes out. Randy comes from behind... RKO to Chad Gable. Which, come on, there's going to be a rematch. RK Bro does deserve it. This could be fun. We'll see where it goes. <coughs> then we go to the back. Vince McMahon's talking to Austin Theory. Which, I, I like this story going on. If you want to build a young star up, what a thing to do. Vince pretty much... Threaten something catastrophic to Austin Theory if he doesn't beat Finn. Which, come on, WWE. A nerd like me knows how where this is going to go. So we get to Austin Theory and Finn. And it was a good match. They never had bad matches. And Austin Theory ultimately wins ATL. Which is his finishing move. One, two, three. Then proceeds to beat him up after the match. Which, there's going to be another rematch. Rematch, 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 WWE, oh, WWE, you really have to stop the hat. No one doesn't, no one wants a rematch. Some circumstances are different, but this, they've had a few matches. If you're going to have one, one more, make it your last. So you have a decisive winner out of that. Rhea Ripley cuts a promo, basically similar to Nikki Ash, saying how she's lost it up here, how and how she's basically going to beat her tonight. And, yeah. We get to that, and Queen Zelina and Carmella come out, pretty much roasting Rhea, pretty much. Yeah. Nikki t attacks Rhea from behind, beats her up, leaves. Okay, so they're going to fight next week, probably. Then we go to the back, and again, it's the 24-7 stuff with Reggie and Dana Brooke. Do I really care? Not really. Basically saying, oh my God, St Dana Brooke saying, oh my God, stay away from Otis. 
He's big and scary, and Reggie's, yeah. And they walk off. And it's Olmus versus Reggie, and uh, Olmus wins in 28 seconds. You have the 24-7 title nonsense come in the ring. Omos beats the crap out of Tazawa and our truth which our truth never ages you were the best I love you Reggie tries to jump off the top rope Omos catches him tells him you're gonna fall one two three done squash match I know Omos might be a little slow in the ring that's why they don't give him long matches but to build him up and to get him wins squashing people Sure. I like Omos. Good. Good. Yeah. And then we get to the Maurice Beth Phoenix segment, which I forgot to mention earlier. In the segment where Edge, Edge and uh, his wife Beth were talking to Damian Priest, Maurice sent a letter to Beth saying, can you meet me in the ring? Which, again, WWE, we know this is a setup. Maurice comes out kissing up to Beth Phoenix, saying, oh, my God, you're the best. We just have a tag team match. I love you. Let's be best friends. Let's cancel his match. Beth is like, no. Nah. At the Rumble, I'm going to kill you. Then Beth Phoenix gets in the ring. They kind of have a stare off. Miz, surprise, surprise, who is apparently not there, is there. Tries to attack Edge. Edge is not smart. He's like, bruh. <clears throat> Beats him up. And then Maurice hits Beth in the back of the head with, a pur with her purse. Turns out what was in her purse was a brick, which for something that's kind of eh, because I'm hoping for AJ Styles versus Edge at Mania. I don't mind. Hopefully a good match. Edge and Beth are probably going to win that one, and that feud is going to be... <laughs> then we go to the back. It's the Street Profits. They cut a promo talking about the Rumble, how they're going to throw everyone out. Dawkins looks to Ford and at, or, well, what about me? Then the Mysterials come in, and they say, no, we're going to win the Rumble. Which, you can't forget, Ray is, like, near 50 years old, and he won the Rumble before. I love you, Ray. So we get uh, Street Profits of Ray Mysterio versus Apollo Crews, Commander Aziz, and the Dirty Dogs. Eight-man tag. Good tag. Montez Ford is amazing with his splash his dives, his everything. And then the tag clank, clank went off. Ah! Everyone went wild. Everyone ran in, beat each other up. But the end of the match, Montez Ford with that amazing splash on Cruz. One, two, three, done. After the match, I love this. They celebrate. Mysterios throw out the profits. Kind of a thing about the rumble. And then you, funny enough, Ray throws Dominic out. I laughed. I had a good time. And I want to see where this goes. Then we have a Bobby Lashley promo, which Corey Graves did an interview on his podcast. And Bob's pretty much not really in character, but talking about how much this match looked, meant to him and how much he was looking forward to it. And how back in the day, he didn't really get much out of such eye contact from Lesnar and now that he does he's pumped for this match and you can see in his face he's like let's go and then we get a Royal Rumble like road two with Brock and Bobby which pff, it was awesome check it out just because I'll, I'll take that then I don't understand. The Miz and Maurice had a promo talking about, oh my God, we beat up Beth Phoenix. Oh, we are the best. Next week, Maurice, it's your birthday, so we're going to throw you a party. It's just going to end in Badge and Beth getting revenge. Come on. And then Alexa Bliss's journey back to Raw. I like that she kind of she wasn't demonic, but she you could tell in her eyes she still had it because that lasted a minute. Therapist is like, "Glad you're here. Don't damage anything. I'm not gonna take it." Pretty much, 
She says some words, asks what Alexa what she thinks of. She says her doll Lily, 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 a demonic stare. Therapist walks out. I'm hoping Alexa Bliss comes back as a tweener because this fiend thing is not working. Unfortunately, Bray Wyatt was released. I wish the best for you. And I heard you're doing movies, which if you are, I'll check it out. Main event time. Bobby Lashley versus Seth Rollins. What a match. Good match. We'll get to the ending, which... Come on. Back and forth. Seth hit the pedigree. With close fall. Seth did some dives. Lashley used his power. I believe he did a vertical. Did his move, signature moves. And that belly to belly on the top rope. Jesus. What a thing of beauty. And then you know what happens next. The Hurt Business. Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin pull him out of the ring and beat him up. Which means disqualification again. No comment. So they beat him up. Lashley gains control and hits this friggin' amazing spear through the barricade to Shelton Benjamin. And boy, oh boy, what a spear. And then Seth is kind of watching like, oh my god. And then Usos come in, super kick him, leave, and that's basically how Raw ends. I'd say good show. A lot of dumb skits. A lot of predictability. WWE, please change your DQs. They're pathetic. Come up with something different. But I am looking forward to next Raw. Because the Alpha Academy has a brain challenge with RK Bro. Gonna be good. And that's it for today. Tune in for tomorrow's NXT review.